There is a type of problem in physics that is an extremely common mistake in waves. We're going to have a look at a graph of the displacement against distance. And shall we just say that it's a cosine graph? It could be a sine graph as well. So it's going to look something like this. But this time, rather than this being a transverse wave, let's think about a longitudinal wave. In other words, if this is the displacement distance graph for a longitudinal wave, can you identify which points on the graph are rare factions and which are compressions. Hmm, this is quite tricky. In order to solve this, we'll need to know the direction of the wave or which way the motion is positive. So I'm just going to say that moving this way to the right is positive. And that's right. <laughs> Rule number one in determining these, the compressions and rarefactions will always have a displacement of zero. This is because if it's a compression, it will appear as if all the points are moving towards that point. And if it's a rarefaction, it will appear as if all the points are moving away from that point. So this one, this one, and this one could be compressions or rarefactions. How do we determine which one's which? Well, let's consider this point here. Its neighbor to the left has a positive direction of its displacement. In other words, this is to the right. Its neighbor to the right has a negative displacement. Therefore, this thing has to be a compression. Let's take this point over here. Its neighbor to the left has a negative displacement. Now let's say that negative is to the left like that and its neighbor to the right has a positive displacement. And look at this, those points are moving away from one another and this point here has to be a rarefaction. This type of problem is only half of the story though. Transverse waves appear very often in exams and I've got a little trick to help you determine what is happening to the individual points on a transverse wave. So you need to have a look at this video right over here that will really help you solve these questions.